Welcome to Ragamuffin Archive Revisited. I'm Joe Cook. Since 2010, Ragamuffin Archive has been on a mission to preserve and share rare and unreleased recordings from Rich Mullins, a Ragamuffin band, and the artists who worked with them or were influenced by them. Now, each week, we're taking a deep dive into our archives and beyond to share some great moments and music that you may have missed. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this week's Ragamuffin Archive Revisited. So far from my home I've seen the world and I haven't known So many secrets I wish now I did not know Cause they have crept into my heart They have left it cold Prodigal sons Where we are children no more We have sinned and grown old And a father still waits And he watches down the road To see the crying boys Come running back to his heart And the growing young man and man I 
young Hal swift from his brand new album growing young of course it's the title track songs inspired by rich mullins and uh, i'm joe cook welcome to ragamuffin archive revisited and uh you know i i'm thrilled to be playing that song for you tonight because tonight Hal swift is going to be our guest on this show to talk all about this new record and i think we're gonna dive right into it right now and introduce our guest for the evening Hal Swift. Hal, how are you doing, man? I'm good. How are you, Joe? Uh, man, I'm doing great. It's great to uh, be chatting with you here. And uh, man, what, what a great record. Congratulations, because uh, I know it's a lot of work, you know, from <laughs> <laughs> from just, you know, the very beginning to crafting the songs to mm -hmm. actually having a finished product out there. So, man, congrats. What, what yeah. a great what a great record. Thanks. It's been a year and a half of. Uh writing and just waiting and uh and uh i'll be honest it, it wouldn't have gotten done without a friend of mine saying hey you should probably finish that uh by the name of joe <laughs> well you know i'm anything if not motivating i i'll say <laughs> <laughs> you know what man i i tell you it, it's just it's been a pleasure to uh to just kind of watch you cross the finish line with this thing and to see it released and uh to hear great tracks like the one we just heard which is really one of the only songs on the album that you didn't write uh there's a couple rich mullins covers on the record uh and i i kind of want to talk to you about that song because sure. growing young of course i mean a classic rich mullins song i mean i can understand the uh the desire to want to cover a song that great but you took a step further it's the title track of your record it's kind of the theme yeah. of your album and I'm really curious to know why that is, because that's a song that mm -hmm. is specifically always spoken to me. And so uh, I, I'm curious as to why you decided to do that song and make it the theme of, of this record. Sure. Well, one of the things I loved about it was just that, you know, it's the story of the prodigal son and Rich's version of that. And, you know, in, in many ways, we all, all are prodigal sons. And so... I was really kind of identifying with that as I started my journey uh, of this album. And um, some of the things that I, I don't know, some of the things that I loved about the song were just, you know, it, it makes it personal, you know, um, in, in a lot of ways. You don't think of the, you know, I've read The Prodigal Son over and over and over, but you know, it wasn't until that song that it was like, oh, that's me. I'm the guy who's run away. And I have cheated God. I have uh, turned my back on him. I've said I'm going to serve him. And then I don't. And then I said I'm going to serve him. And then I don't. <laughs> and then he still welcomes us back with open arms. And so that's one of the reasons, especially in this time of my life, um, that that it really kind of spoke to me and said, yeah, that's that's one of Rich's songs that really, um, that really kind of encapsulates what I wanted to do with the album. What a great message, you know, in that song and what a mm -hmm. great theme for an album to, yeah. you know, to be able to, you know, yes, acknowledge, yeah, we are prodigal sons. We have, right. you know, everything in us strives to run away from what we should yeah. be and what God has called us to be. And uh, so, man, what a beautiful version of the song. But I really want to talk to you about some of these original songs that you've written for the project. And we're going to play uh, mm -hmm. so, some of them tonight because 
the album is songs inspired by Rich Mullins. It's not a Rich Mullins tribute album. It's not a Rich Mullins album of covers. It, you know, it is 95% you know, original material, songs that you've written, some beautiful songs. And we're, we're going to start right now at the beginning, the opening track. We're going to play a song called The Lord Bless You and Keep You. T- t- let's talk about that song for a moment. Sure. Well, um, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 I wanted something that was simple, that everybody kind of knew right out of the gate. And everybody's heard of, the, you know, obviously from uh, Carrie Job, the, um, the blessing song. But, you know, when I heard those words, I'm like, you know what, I, I want to do it a little differently. I, I do want it to be communal in a, in a sense that um, once you know it, you could sing along to it. And musically, you know, Rich always had those those great openers uh, on his albums, and and I spe- you know I specifically just think of uh, of uh, step by step. I think of um, <laughs> oh the beginning of um, I can't even remember the the name of it. The Carry On, the one before Carry On. Oh, I will he sing. Little, yeah, I will sing. Yeah, Ever yeah. Never Picture Perfect. Uh, Here in America, the great opener from Liturgy. Exactly. Yeah, but the, you know, probably it was probably step by step, sometimes by step was probably kind of the, almost the goal in a way uh, of doing something that, that everybody could join in with. And that is both a, that's simple. There's not, I didn't add a whole lot to that from the Bible. And at the same time, yeah, it's just a good opener. It, it is. And it's it's like an invitation to join in and be a yeah. part of this record. And we're going to play that song right now from the album Growing Young. It's the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. Always new. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Oh, the Lord give you peace. Oh, the Lord give his peace to you. Bless you and keep you. How swift and how is my guest on tonight's Ragamuffin Archive revisited? Uh, how uh, there's another song I have been itching to talk to you about uh, from this record. It's one we haven't featured on the show yet. I don't believe I- I've got the sense from talking to you uh, in recent months that this is a song I think that means a lot to you. Tell me about the storm is gone. Yeah. So this is one of the first ones that I that I wrote and um, really kind of echoing the time. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. So um, just over the course of my life, uh, just dealt with a lot of hurts, habits and hang ups that, you know, weren't there all the time. But, you know, every once in a while, they would just come back. And I, I was having a hard time dealing with that kind of stuff. And so I needed to reach out and get some help. And so for the first time in my life, after after you know, reaching out to some church folks, um, I was free from that. 
and and you know and so this song was kind of a, a reaction to that because one of the first things that came back to me after i dealt with those things were, was this passion to write music again like i wrote when i was young and when i had a lot more energy <laughs> but uh you know now it was just like i was free for the first time and so that analogy of a storm just kind of came to mind and um and so i just started writing from that viewpoint of, of of what that's like and and it being gone and it's just, it was it was life changing but yet i know you know even though there's always a shadow there that you look back at and so some of those some of the verses you know talk about that hey you know that shadow's still back there but it's one of those things in jesus it's like you know he's freed me and when i'm reminded of that and it's like oh yeah okay that's gone i I'm, i i need to come back to those things and so the chorus really you know talks about surrendering and, and that's what it's really about is surrendering and so when i needed help i needed to surrender to get that help and um and so every day now is that surrender and what i found is when the shadow is looming are those days that i, f I forgot oh oh god i'm, I'm sorry I, I i didn't give you this day i didn't give you um my heart today and so those those days <laughs> <laughs> then, then I'm reminded pretty quickly that uh, when that shadow comes, that oh nope, I need I need to do that again. I need to uh, seek him. I need to, um, which another song is about that part of uh, of surrendering daily, and that that that's the second song in the morning really describes that process of hey, you know, daily I need to 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 sing songs to him. I need to praise him. I need to worship him. And then this song is just really that cry of God, I want to do that. I want to surrender to you daily. Let's listen. is gone for it used to be the clouds may come they like a memory they say surrendering is only for the weak but I say you can have all this life if I know I can be free when the thunder roars of the ways it used to be And battles rage in my mind and memory I will take these thoughts of new captivity And I will, I will soldier wrong till my eyes can truly see All my days and my nights All of the lonely fights I can't go back and make it right I don't need no fame or love Fortunes or status I don't need to make things up Cause all I have, Lord, it's enough So you can take all this stuff in the end Just give me Jesus Well there's a grace that's greater than all our fears And a light need and the pain won't disappear And temptations come and whisper in our ears He says, we still and know my child Your father's always here And you can take all this life All my days and my nights Can't go back 
The Storm is Gone, Hal Swift from his album Growing Young, songs inspired by Rich Mullins. Man, what a what a great song, Hal. Oh, thanks. You know, one of the things I obviously this record is so Rich Mullins inspired. There are there are definitely things that, you know, kind of threads you hear throughout musically and lyrically where you can definitely pick out the inspiration in different places. Kind of what I, I wanted to ask you is, you know, you mentioned a moment ago about kind of stepping away from songwriting for a long time. And so you come back to it and, and you feel inspired and you want to make this record. Why the Rich Mullins connection? What was it about sure. Rich that was inspiring you? Um, kind of tell me a little bit about yeah. your Rich Mullins story. Like, you know, sure, like, yeah. when did you discover Rich? Mm hmm. Yeah, so when I was 12 years old, I uh, I came to know Jesus in the Boundary Waters Canoe area with my my youth group, and um, changed my life. And a, a few years later, um, it, it immediately, you know, in the 80s, it was all about Christian music for uh, for us young folk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so I was listening to all sorts of different Christian uh, music, and uh, I was part of a Christian singing group. And we happened to sing While the Nations Rage was one of them. And uh, we would sometimes sing Awesome God. And I didn't really know who the writers of those were. And then just going in my uh, looking through the Christian bookstore in town, came across this album cover, thought it looked kind of cheesy, just kind of had the sky on it with some dude's face in faded in there. It's kind of weird. But I looked at the back and it had it's kind of rugged guy over a over a this makeshift shift fire and it reminded me of the boundary waters first thing and so i took it home and i immediately was like wow this is great um from the get-go so you know the world is best as i remember it volume one um just was highly impacted and it, it kind of caught me in it specifically uh boy like me man like you that uh he said he was from Indiana. I'm like, wow, okay, all my relatives are from Indiana. Um, I was born in Minnesota, but all my relatives are from Indiana. And so I was like, oh, that's interesting. Okay. And like that, and so you, I went back to the store and eventually they got some of his, uh, a few of the older albums. Um, and um, yeah, and, and I realized, oh, wow, he's, he's actually from a similar faith background. He has some influence and from from Quaker and and that's all that's all my relatives were Quakers and 
And so there's just this automatic connection there from what he was talking about and just the acoustic nature of it really stood in contrast, especially that album to all the other stuff I was listening to. And so it really kind of, you know, it just spoke to my heart. You know, we're, we're going to do something tonight that we've never done before. <laughs> and uh, this is this is dangerous what I'm doing here. I, I'm going to turn turn the reins over to Hal. Hal is like going to be our guest DJ for this segment that we're calling Five Favorites. And basically, you know, you've made a, a Rich Mullins inspired album. And I want to hear some of the songs that have inspired you. And uh, I have a feeling this is not going to be the last we're going to hear about the world is best. I remember it in some of those songs tonight <laughs> as we uh, as we get into this list. But I'm, I'm going to turn things over to you now. Uh, Hal has selected five of his favorites. And uh, Hal, what's the first song uh, sure. from Rich that we're we're going to play tonight? This first one is a uh, boy like me, man like you. And I think when I first heard it, it just, it just opened my imagination to, um, you know, just thinking a little deeper about Jesus and what he thought about, because, you know, the, the theological idea is that he's fully God and fully man. And what does that mean? And so this song was one of those first ones where I went, what, like, what do you mean by did the little girls giggle when you when you walk past or you know what it, what it does it mean? skip a rock oh yeah I, I i bet he did on the lake of galilee i bet he did skip a rock there i don't know about the lick of lick the dog's nose thing i don't know if jesus would have done that but <laughs> you know it, it just it even even in the way that you know he uses modern uh, analogies of, of a water hose well I, don't think they had that back then, but you know, just even that idea to really so many times, I feel like we come across people who just, you know, see God as unattainable as something over there. I will never be good enough. I will never do enough to get there. And what Rich did with this song was to, to bring it home to go, Hey, you know what? The God of the universe is also the God who put both feet on the ground here. And who walked, you know, in our shoes, per se. And so that was what I loved about it. And to do it in such a fun way, you know, to, to get you to think about those things, I, I think is amazing. Here's Rich Mullins and Boy Like Me, Man Like You. Thank you. Lord, at Reed Memorial is where I was born. And they wrapped you in swaddling clothes, and me the dressed in baby blue. Well, I was 12 years old in the meeting house. I listened to the old man pray. Well, I was trying hard to figure out what it was that they was trying to say. And there you were in the temple. They said you weren't old enough to know all the things you knew. Did you grow up hungry? Did you grow up fast? The little girls giggle when you walk past. Do you wonder what it was that made them laugh? Did they tell you stories about the saints of old? Stories about their faith? They say stories like that make a boy grow old. Stories like that make a man walk straight. And you was a boy like I was once. But was you a boy like me? Well, I grew up around Indiana. You grew up around Galilee. And if I ever really do grow up, but I want to grow up and be just like you. But did you wrestle with the dog and lick his nose? Did you play beneath the spray of a water hose? Did you ever make angels in the winter snow? Did they tell you stories about the saints of old? Stories about their faith? They say stories like that make a boy grow old. It's like that, make a man walk straight. Yeah. Did you ever get scared playing hide and seek? Did you try not to cry when you scraped your knee? Did you ever skip a rock and cry so 
That was Rich Mullins with a live performance recorded in South Bend, Indiana on a World Harvest radio special called Rich Mullins Live Around the World. Doing boy like me, man like you and uh, our guest DJ right now. I'm going to turn things back over to Hal Swift. And uh, Hal, what is uh, the next song uh, in your five sure. favorites list tonight? So the second one would be First Family. And uh, I remember getting that album and, and this song came on and I was like, wait a minute. OK, I knew the guy was from Indiana, but then he starts talking about how, how his dad's a farmer and and how, you know, they didn't have much growing up. Well, I listen to stories all the time of, of, of very similar things from my dad growing up on the farm and uh, and just the things that they would have to endure. And so it was automatic for me that I was just like. Well, so I even played this song for my family a few times and like, did you write that for, for dad and, and growing up in India? I'm like, nope, that that's Rich Mullins. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll even play it every once in a while here. And, and my wife will go, is now, is that you or is that, was that Rich's song about India? <laughs> and, uh, and so, yeah, it's just one of those, those ones that just immediately caught me. And I was like, whoa, okay. All right. I guess we're we have some similar things going on. I, I think the other reason that I liked liked it too, because I know you know Rich was uh, born in '55, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I my my dad was born in '40, and I was born in '75, and so Rich kind of like bridged the gap between my dad and I, and and that, and so there was for me. It, it, I think Rich in some ways helped me understand my dad a little bit more because I, I didn't grow up on a farm. I grew up on the lake and, uh, and, and had lake life and, and, and things like that where you, um, it was different. I didn't have the chores I had to go do and, uh, like you do on the farm and that sort of thing. So um, listening to Rich just kind of helped me understand my dad, I think, in some ways um, that I didn't really get on my own. Here's Rich Mullins and First Family. <laughs> well, my folks, they were always the first family to arrive. With seven people jammed into a car that seated five. And there was one bathroom to bathe and shave and six of us stood in line. And hot water for only three, but we all did just fine. We talk about your miracles to talk about your faith well my dad he could make things grow out of indiana clay and mom could make a gourmet meal out of just cornbread and beans and they worked to give faith hands and feet and somehow gave it wings well i can still hear my dad cussing He's working late out in the barn Spring plantings are coming And the tractors just won't run Mom, she's done the laundry And I can see it waving on the line Now they've stayed together Through the strain and the pain of those times Think about your miracles You talk about your faith that he could make things grow out of Indiana clay. Mom could make a gourmet meal out of just cornbread and beans. And they worked to give faith hands and feet and somehow gave it wings. Now they raised five children. What a winter they 
lost a son But the pain wouldn't leave him crippled And the scars have made them strong Never picture perfect Just a plain man and his wife Who somehow knew the value of hard work Real love and real life Talk about your miracles you Talk about your faith Out of just cornbread and beans And they work to give faith hands and feet And somehow gave it wings Rich Mullins and a live performance of First Family And uh, that was recorded at a retreat in South Bend, Indiana back in February of 1994. Well, I'm gonna turn things right now back over to Hal Swift once again. And uh, what is the third song tonight, Hal, from your five favorites list? Well, the third one is Where You Are. And I think what I loved about this one is, you know, on that album, there's a couple times where Rich really gets into biblical imagery and, and this is one of them. Um, where he is, you know, he's talking about Daniel and the lion and Jonah and the belly of the whale and, and uh, Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego and, and what it was like for them to be in the furnace, in the lion's den. And then, you know, he turns around and says, you know, and basically says, hey, I know life's tough for you. And, but hey, look, look how God's been faithful in the past. And you know what? He's, he's going to be faithful to you. Maybe when you're praying, maybe when you're going through something tough, you can turn to him and he will be there. Whether it's in the fire, what, whatever you're going through, God will show up. And I think that that's what I love about this one. Um, and I just, like I said, I love the way over and over throughout Rich's career, he took biblical imagery and brought it to life, brought it into, into today that we can experience it. And on a completely maybe more superficial level, I mean, I don't know that anybody's going to, you know, put this at the top of the list of maybe the best songs that Rich Mullins ever wrote. But is there possibly ever been a more fun song that yeah. Rich wrote than Where You Are? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I've, I've been practicing it lately and uh, and I'm having a blast just trying to get all the chords in correctly. Well, here's uh, Rich Mullins and Where You Are. Talking to in the den of the lions, Jonah in the belly of a whale. Talking three Hebrew children in the standing in a furnace, fiery furnace, but the fire didn't burn them. And the lions didn't bite. And the Lord reached down, so you can be sure that everything turned out right. Oh, you meet the Lord in the furnace. Long time for you meet him in the sky and oh, where you are. Ain't where you wish that you was. Well, your life ain't easy. And the road is rough, but oh, where you are is where he promised to be. From the ends of the world. To every point of need Talking Daniel in the den of a lion's Jonah in the belly of a whale Talking three Hebrew children in the standing in a furnace Fiery furnace, but the fire didn't burn them And the lions didn't bite And the Lord reached down And you can be sure that everything turned out all right So you meet the Lord in the furnace Long time, but you meet him in the sky Meet him in your time of a trial Meet him in your hour of prayer But you can reach out and know that Did you find that it right the way you are? However grim it may seem But this is real life, baby This ain't no Hollywood and dream And where you are No matter what you may face You're gonna find out real soon What they mean when they say Talking Daniel in the den of lions 
Jonah in the belly of a whale Talking three Hebrew children and they're standing in a furnace Fiery furnace, but the fire didn't burn them And the lions didn't bite And the Lord reached down, and the Lord reached down, baby Everything turned out alright So you meet the Lord in the furnace Long time for you meet him in the sky Meet him in your time of a trial Meet him in your hour of prayer You can reach out and all that But you'll find that he's there and the fire won't burn you And the lions won't bite And the Lord will reach down And the Lord will reach down, baby Everything will turn out alright So you meet the Lord in the furnace Long time but you meet him in the sky high. And then you meet him in the sky A live performance recorded in Holland back in 1994. Rich Mullins and Beaker doing Where You Are. And uh, you're listening to Ragamuffin Archive Revisited. I'm Joe Cook. Joining me tonight is Hal Swift. And we're playing Hal's five favorites, his five favorite or five of his favorite Rich Mullins songs. It's hard to pick just five, isn't it, Hal? It definitely is. Yeah, I think I gave you like three different lists. But what is the next song on your list? What's number four from Hal's Five Favorites? Right. So the next one is Maker of Noses. And uh, that's, a, that, that's a great choice, though, because that's not a Rich Moan song that people tend to think about a lot. No. But the funny thing is, is over and over in my life, the chorus has come to mind. So recently, someone had posted, um, it was actually a pastor who was kind of like that, you know. Though there's that that's there's that saying out there that we we often use in the last few years. That's hey man, you just do you, you know, and and that kind of rubs me a little bit. So this pastor was telling, hey, you know, it's 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 all right for you to do what you were doing because you were just being yourself. And every time someone says that as an excuse uh, for doing something they probably know they shouldn't be doing. Um, this song comes to mind because the chorus is all about that, you know, um, you know, in the verses he's talking about, man, I, it's kind of like this plea for heaven, you know, it's just like, God, I know there's going to be a time when, you know, there, there won't be, there won't be poverty. There won't be starvation in the world. People won't beat up on each other. They won't kill people anymore. And, and then there's that question about how do we do it? And the chorus is, you know, him saying, Hey, well, you know, people tell me that I'm supposed to follow my heart, but my heart's in here. And um, people say, you know, follow your nose. Well, you know, when I have a bad burrito, that changes what I want to do the next day. Um, and so is it because of the bad burrito or was I supposed to do that thing? So th things change or, you know, follow your dreams. Well, my dreams are misty notions and that's my dream today, but you know, tomorrow might be something different. And so this world just changes and our emotions change and our thoughts change. What can we ground ourselves in? But I love those last two lines of the chorus because it really brings it forward. And, and it says, but the father of hearts and the maker of noses, the giver of dreams, He's the one I've chosen, and I will follow him. And that in my life, when everything else changes, when everything falls apart, you know, when relationships uh, change, God is still there. And we could still look to him, and he doesn't change, and his word doesn't change. And we can follow him, and we can listen to his voice. Rich Mullins and the Maker of Noses. I believe there's a place people live in perfect peace. There is food on every plate. Work is rewarding, rest is sweet. For the color of your skin won't get you in and keep you out. Just as rains and truth finally wins, it's a hard war against the wind. And when I'm in the middle of the world, I know what's 
great live performance of maker of noses recorded in arlington texas back in july of 1993 and incidentally that happens to be the only known live recording of that song uh great one there and uh, that's number four on hal swift's list of five favorites and hal of course is our guest tonight and hal we're down to number five the fifth and final song on the list and uh, our listeners can't see what I'm seeing, but I, I see a guitar strapped around you. I, I think, are, are we going to do something a little different right now with this last song? Yeah, I guess we are. I think we, we're going to do something a little bit more uh, live, um, if you will, and try to do a, a live performance. This should be interesting. This is a Ragamuffin Archive revisited first. I don't think we've actually had any live music played on the show until now. So this is, this is exciting. It is exciting. 
Well, we'll see if it's exciting afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> drum roll here. What is number five? What song are you going to be taking a stab at tonight, Hal Swift? Sure. Uh, number five is uh, what Susan said, kind of, you know, that trend of that first album that I bought in that store uh, off of that same uh, The World as Best as I Remember it, Volume One. And uh, one of the reasons I love it is God really has been talking to me the last few years about how important it is to share our faith. And, uh, you know, this is pretty much a, a, uh, a biographical song, I think, for Rich and Beaker about about their lives on the road and, uh, you know, doing a camp and, hey, they're, they end up talking to kids about Jesus. And, and over the last few years, it just, it, it hit me after coming out of 20 years of ministry that I could do that 20 years and I only know of one person who came to Jesus and I wasn't trying. And that was very convicting for me. And so one of the reasons I love this song is that we should be able to, as Christians, to simply be able to say, hey, you know what, there was a time, this is what I tell people now, when they ask, hey, why are you, why are you so smiley? Why do, you, why, why do you have such a good outlook on life or whatever it is? Um, I always say, well, you know, there was a time in my life when my marriage was on the rocks, I lost my ministry position, and I was spiraling into depression. But Christ reminded me of his love for me. And I surrendered again to him. And now I have joy and a purpose like never before. I don't have to get into all the details or anything, but it can be that simple. And so, like I said, that's, that's why I love this song is it's about the everyday life. You know, I love that little, that little line. I, I, oh yeah, I remember what Susan said. Um, you know, love is bound up on the things that we give up. It takes that little bit of courage to go, yeah, well, let me tell you the joy I have in my life and why. And it takes time to do that. It can take energy and resources. Um, so, yeah, that's why I love the song. All right, let's do it. Hal Swift singing What Susan Said. Two lonely boys in the pickup truck And they're driving through the rain and the heat And the skin so sweaty They both get stuck to the upright line of sight And it's evident to Stella what's ball inside us Oh, it's the two of us together And we're putting on the mileage And we both feel lost And I remember what Susan said Our love was bound up in the things we've given up more than in the things that we have kept And ain't it funny when people sing And ain't it funny when people write And ain't it funny how it hits you so hard Oh, in the middle of the night And if you're wrong, it's just another place But you're a stranger Far away you remember I was your friend The two full-grown men and a huddle of kids And they're trying to help them to believe But it's too good to be real and more real than the air they breathe Well, it's Wally and the beaver It's David and Jonathan it's the love of Jesus putting on flesh and bone And we both feel lost And I remember what Susan said Our love is bound up in the things we've given up More than in the things that we've kept And ain't it funny what people say And ain't it funny what people write And ain't it funny how it hits you so hard Oh, in the middle of the night Funny what people say, and it ain't a funny what 
that you'll remember I was your friend I hope you have the strength to just remember I'm still your friend Swift and what Susan said. Man, great job, Hal. That sounded beautiful. Thanks. Thank you so much for uh, being on the show with us tonight. Uh, the album is Growing Young, songs inspired by Rich Mullins. I've included a link to Hal's website. Uh, it's HalSwift.com. Am I correct? That is right. Head over to HalSwift.com. There's a lot of great information on the site about the record. You can purchase a copy you can it's on streaming services now check this record out uh support Hal and his music and uh i gotta tell you man just uh i my goal is to make this the second biggest selling album of the year from an artist named swift <laughs> oh oh gr wow <laughs> that's great just just if, if you know you follow me you'll have to come up with a different name f as a fan though because Swifty's been taken. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I have to say though that I, I am very appreciative of Joe and the show because in, in, as I was writing this song, you started the the podcast, and it was like an encouragement to me. And so I, you know, I follow along every week. I'm in the chat every week because I love the community. I love the people, and I love you know talking about Rich and everything around Rich and all the people that and and i've been so encouraged by joe um uh, uh, you know if there is a reward i wish we could give it to joe because he is amazing and uh, i think he deserves not only his own show he needs he, he deserves backing in like a whole radio station or something um so oh, thank you oh joe. man well oh, thank you so much man thank you again for being here well thanks joe have a great week everyone You've been listening to Ragamuffin Archive Revisited. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on social media. It's Ragamuffin Archive on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can also reach me by email at ragamuffinarchive at gmail.com. And of course, you can always leave a comment on YouTube. The song you're hearing is Screen Porch by Ted Yoder. You can find more of his music at tedyoder.com or on Bandcamp. Join us next time for another deep dive into the archive. I'm Joe Cook. Have a great week.